Hi guys, Elrev here. Today I'm bringing you some DCS World content, looking at the SU-33 Flanker. DCS World is a really, really excellent game, um, but it is a game. People like the Reapers and stuff take this a tad too seriously online, so I think we need a bit more chilled content around this game. It is a game. There's no risk of me dying, dying in a horrible flaming fireball, so it's not like real life at all. Um, it is what it is. It's a game. Um, there we are zooming in a tad too close. So, there's the flanker. She's a big heavy ship. She's relatively fast. Um, multiple hard points for non-laser guided bombs and missiles. Russian missiles tend to be not so good as the American missiles, but they're a lot of fun to fly in these planes. Um, we're going to do that today. We're going to take her on a takeoff and landing slash crash. I'm not great at this game, um, but I do enjoy it a lot and I think it's worth making some content on from a more chill perspective. You know, let's uh, see it for what it is, but the graphics are spectacular. I mean, on the ground they can look a little blocky, but once you're in the sky they are really, really good. So let's set up here. So in the bottom left here you can see my rudder and my landing gear is down, um, which is great and we are able to use the data link to look at our waypoints. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off. Um, so here we go. So between 250 and 260 I think is a good speed to take off in the SU-33. She's heavy, depends how much fuel you have. Um, taking off from a carrier is a lot trickier and I'll do another video on that. So let's ease her up. And we are up. Landing gear and flaps are up. We are airborne, so let's take a look at our waypoints. We're not going to fly too high today, we're going to keep it nice and low for the simple landing. Rate of climb attack, too steady there, too high. The graphics are great in this game, you have to see how good they are. I am playing using HOTUS, so it really does help. Let's ease back on the afterburner, so you can see my two afterburner lights went out there. And we are on course on our waypoints. We're going to land at another airport. So we're just going to trim down slightly. level fly, I think we'll probably stick around this height, there's no need to gain any more altitude. And we're back. Right. So we're slightly off course here, so we're going to turn back in. Very short flight today, just to show you the flight dynamics of the SU-33. She can be heavy. I don't have any armaments right now, so um, she should be a little quicker. We're going to ease back on the front just a tad. We're going quite quick here. Waypoints are quite close together. I basically dropped the plane in the mission editor, set up a few waypoints for a landing. Uh, it's as simple as that really with the game. It's very easy to just get in and fly. You know, let's not pretend it's real life. I probably couldn't get this off the ground if it was real life. But, uh, you know, it does give you a realistic simulation of what these jets are like. Miss that waypoint, so we're going to manually move on to waypoint three. They can be, if they're close together, they can be a tad temperamental. But you know, the general idea is to fly close to those waypoints and then circle back around for a landing. So we have to have a pretty tight turn here. 
Beautiful graphics. I mean, stunning really. Some of the best of any game I've played. Let's see what she can do manoeuvring wise. Nicely done. We are back on track. So we're bleeding a bit of speed here. We're gonna we lost a bit of energy in that turn. I'm gonna ramp back up slightly. It really does help when you have the hope to centre view. I don't have head tracking, I think it's not that necessary. I can use the mouse to look around while flying with my left hand. It's no big deal. People make it out to be a big deal, it's not. There's so many barriers to entry put up with this game as though it's some sort of special, you know, uniquely special game that you need all this stuff for and you don't really. I, I started with the controller, it was fine. Picking up a little bit of speed as we come in, but we're going to start bleeding off that speed a little bit as we come into land. So yeah, I hope to do more DCS content as we move forward. It's it's a great game. It really is. I'm totally addicted right now, and I'd be lying if, if I if I said anything otherwise. But it you know, you also have to respect it is just a game. We're not gonna go too hardcore. You can hear me doing the high G turn there. Probably gonna miss this waypoint. That's what happens when you don't concentrate. Let's skip to the next waypoint. This should bring us into land. I think we need to descend slightly, pull back up the speed. Back. We're going to break a bit. There you go. Start just bringing that altitude down. We're coming in very steep. But we're bleeding off that speed pretty quick, which is great. Which is which is actually pretty handy in the SU-33. You can slow down pretty quick. MiG-29. Yeah, good luck with that. I will hopefully do a nice MiG-29 landing video. But it's a tough plane to land. Really is. He jumps around. I think we're going to scale back slightly here. The most important thing is to line up, which I'm not always great at. A little bit more throttle now. We're low enough. We're starting to drift in. Our landing gear is down. So we've lost a lot of speed, we're quite far out, so we'll just crank her up a little bit. Reasonably straight here. Now let's bleed off that speed a little bit. There you go. We're coming in. We're a little high, I would say. MiG-29, I probably would have uh, already bailed on this, but we are coming in very nicely for the touchdown. Get ready on the wheel brake. Ooh, last minute square up there almost cost me. And we have... We have... A <laughs> little bit of a bounce there. We have touchdown. Full wheel brake on. And we have landing. Very nice plane to fly, really easy, very forgiving, um, which is which is great. So it's great for a, a newbie, pack a lot of weapons, uh, very easy to fly, 
and look, the landing there wasn't perfect, but I, I landed it no problem, so it was very forgiving on me. Really recommend this as a plane. There are some bugs in it, um, some startup sequences and some ability to take off the carrier is bugged, which hasn't been fixed yet. They need to do something about that. But overall, it's um, way more forgiving than the MiG-29. MiG-29 was a tough plane to learn on, and I've landed it a few times and I've crashed it a whole lot more. So the SU-33 is um, much better for the new player. Um, really recommend it, guys. Um, I hope you do some more content with it. DCS is also very unforgiving, so you can film some content and basically mess it up entirely, and you might have to start again. So, the campaigns can be hit and miss. You can fly for 10 minutes and get blown up, and back at the start again. So, hopefully, we'll do some more free flights, I'll take you through some more of the planes that I own, and you know, hopefully, see my journey into a high fidelity module and learning the mechanics of that module. Keep an eye out for more of my content, a lot more to come. Um, that's LRev signing off. Thanks, guys.